If you die tonight, are you going to heaven or hell? Jesus Christ is coming soon and we have to repent and go back to God. This world has been teaching young people that there is no God, but there is God and there is also the judgment of God. Every people when they die is going to face God. The law of God says that whoever lies or liars, whoever looks into a woman or man with the lust is a vulture. We are guilty before God and we are all under the wrath of God. But God so loved the world, He gave us only Son, Jesus Christ. So whoever believes in Him, through Him, will be free from all sin and will be justified. His righteousness will be our righteousness so that we will stand blameless before God. When you believe in Jesus Christ, not only are you justified, you are also sanctified because Jesus will come and live inside you and He will change your life in and out. God loves you so much. And even though the devil is real today, lying to people, all of us, Jesus Christ is the Lord and King and Savior of this world. Jesus Christ is King of Kings, the Lord of all universe. And God created all of us when we are guilty before Him. But there is a day of judgment that is going to call upon every human being. If you stand in front of God tonight or right now, can you say that you're blameless before God? But God so loved us, so He gave us His only Son, Jesus Christ, to die for our sins. And it's no longer to play games with God or think that Christianity is only just going to church on Sunday, but actually surrendering all of our lives to Jesus Christ and our God. This nation has to go back to its original foundation, which is the Word of God. The world today is teaching young people that there is no God, and this world is teaching young people that the life is all about money. But that is not true. We, everything is created for God, and God knows everything that we do. The world is teaching that homosexuality is right, but it's not. The world is teaching that it's okay to disobey our parents, but it's not. The world is teaching that it's okay to watch porn, but it's not. But we have no power to change ourselves, but if we surrender our lives to Jesus Christ, He will come inside us and change us and make us born again. So today, repent and come to God. Believe in Jesus Christ. He loves you so much. Hi guys, it's Servants of Christ. This is an old video. Um, the video which I uploaded before I deleted all the videos in this channel probably before six months, seven months and uh, I regretted so much that this video was deleted and I was looking for if this video still existed and it was um, in my sister's file and so I could upload them today again today God is working in an amazing and powerful way and we are called to be with him, to abide in him, to stay with him. With our own power, as it is said, we cannot change ourselves, but Jesus Christ who is living in us, it is no longer who we live, but Christ is living in us and he changes us as we put our faith in him. Before God, no one is righteous with their own power and strength, but through Jesus Christ, we're righteous. And this righteousness bears fruit. It bears fruit and so today if you're thirsty come to Jesus today if you're hopeless come to Jesus and Christians th these are truly the last days we have to see how what the timeline is going afterward we have to be ready we have to be stay awake and we have to pray because our King will come our King our King our King Jesus Christ it is no longer time to sleep but to be awakened and truly, truly walk with him. And even there will be so many falling away. There will be so many falling away. Many people will leave Christ. But also at the same time, God will raise up people who are very consecrated for him. We don't need many crowds. We don't need many people, but few, those who are unified together, who love one another, who are humble and who love Jesus more than their lives. And God is raising up those generations. And may that be you and me in Jesus' name.